Champions League back with a bang and the stars have shone. Kylian Mbappe has come to the Camp Nou, he has come to Barcelona, he's come to Messi's Palace and he has turned over the furniture. Keila Navas, once of Real Madrid, stares into the eyes of the Barcelona icon. Lionel Messi delivers as he has year on year on Champions League year. Goal 6-5-4. Hugo Lloris has saved penalties in this fixture from Cunaguero. He has a new face-to-face -face adversary now. He got a hand to it but couldn't keep it out. And Rodri establishes a lead for Manchester City. Allison's given it away again. And there's Raheem Sterling. And City now storm into a position which may very well be impregnable. Two Allison errors in next to no time. Nicked on by Verratti. And smashed in by Mbappe. Mbappe the next, one each. The present and the future within a few short moments of each other. Here's Sterling having a dance. And Gundogan, oh, such a good goal. He squeezed it in at the near post. He is such a good player in such a good place right now. Amongst City's men of the moment, it's becoming a habit. Nor has he any inclination to break it. Ilkay Gundogan again. Gundogan, he sat down Sanchez and he scored again. The guy can do no wrong. The goalkeeper's delivery itself is a source of great City joy. His assist, a wonderful clearance from Edison. But boy, did Gundogan not maximise the moment. That's a special goal. Florenzi is furthest forward here and he's seen it. Cardi, it's in by Mbappe and PSG snatched the lead. Kylian Mbappe embraces his moment on a night that may become his night. It's Mount's corner. Kimo Werner smuggled it over the line. Please say it's my goal. Please say it's mine. I'm pretty sure it is. There was a moment's confusion, a quizzical look, but after a hundred days, Timo Werner scores in the Premier League again, and the smile, even the bloody lip smile, tells the full story. Do you know, if they take that one off him, if I was him, I'd rip off my shirt, walk off and say I'm done. Pembe behind him. Paredes! And Keane! And Paris Saint-Germain! Great castles. This can be a landmark win. And Foden and Gundogan and City do lead at Anfield. A redemptive moment for Ilkay Gundogan. And the champions are behind on their own patch again. And City now on top and they will take some knocking off. Here's Foden. Phil Foden! Oh, ho, ho. Manchester City have their boots on the throat of the champions. That is a screamer from Phil Foden. They are fitting away. To Roddy, catch him at bay, but Armstrong has sealed it. Since last eight, Stuart Armstrong with precision in the closing seconds of the 90 minutes. Uplift for Hasenhutl. Roddy was stranded, little he could do. And Southampton are through. This is quite a run from Draxler. And he's fed Mbappe! Yeah! Headline hat-trick! He strides the stage like the world star he is. Kylian Mbappe has made this his night. And Kuman has nowhere to hide. Can run around Gabriel here and set it for Watkins who scores. Inside 75 seconds for Aston Villa. This guy is shining right now. And Villa have flown out of the blocks. Ollie Watkins, boyhood Arsenal fan, who has now scored three goals against them in one game and one minute this season. 
He's in the right place. Werner. Clear of craft in by Werner. And thrashed home by Olivier Giroud. Half an hour in, Chelsea ahead. Timo Werner gets a big tick. Olivier Giroud gets a big goal. Oh, again. Poor clearance from Allison. Here's Foden. He's got between two. And Foden set it for Gundogan. And City have their lead back. And once more, Liverpool's crown slips on their head. Gundogan from zero to hero times two. And they're giving penalties back to Jorginho. Jorginho. No hop, no skip, no jump, but a goal for Chelsea. A simple strike from 12 yards. Simple, straight, effective, 1-0 the Blues. Almost balletic penalty, but he's gone back to basics here and he has his fifth goal of the season. All of them from the spot, so he's been successful too. This is a Liverpool must. Salah thumps it in as if he means it. Obliged. And he answered the call. Mo Salah in front of the vacant cop has reopened the window of opportunity for Liverpool. If Manchester City can win at Anfield, they can win anywhere. They know who they are. They know how good they are. And when they perform to that capacity, they are too good for just about anybody else. The Champions League has stormed back in and it has not been shy. Kylian Mbappe, like he owns the place, and tonight he did own the place. A hat-trick from this young boy, power, intelligence, style, and Paris Saint-Germain are practically there without even going home. 4-1. Sweet 16. Hugely sweet for Pep Guardiola. Seven points clear at the top of the Premier League. 23 games unbeaten. Seven consecutive clean sheets on this, their own ground. Everything about Manchester City, never mind their two-goal man, Ilkay Gundogan, is remarkable right now. Jose and Spurs had no answer. Manchester City 3, Tottenham Hotspur 0. It begins to look tidy for Tuchel. Still unbeaten, still almost unbreached. Not very far short of perfect. And back up into the top four of the Premier League under new management, Chelsea Football Club. Nowhere to hide. Nowhere to hide. Anfield, they said back in the day, used to be a visiting goalkeeper's graveyard. Today, I'm afraid it is a haunting place for Liverpool's own custodian, who has been such a hero, such a, a point of difference in their team. One of the reasons why they did become the champions of Europe, the champions of the land. A win signed off by the sheer guts, determination and personal brilliance of Phil Foden. Boy, Liverpool will struggle to retain it now. That City might regain it is a notion gathering credence all the time. City magnificent, Liverpool crushed.